How's it going, everybody? So we're over here at the Quick Trip, and uh, we got a call from some folks here. Uh, they're passing through town and asked if we could change a couple tires for them. Uh, the vehicle's uh, one of those all-wheel drive Buick Enclaves, so unfortunately we have to do it of all four tires um, since their front two are bad, and that's the ones that really need to be changed. Uh, but we have to change the back two too because we don't want to do any have any malfunctions to the uh, all-wheel drive system. So, yeah, let's get to work. And we have to balance them as well. We will uh, angle this down so you can see what's going on a little bit there, a little bit better. There we go. Yeah. There we go. It's gonna take a little bit to let the air out of these because they're 19s. Oh, could you grab me that soap right there in the corner uh, in the inside door of my truck? Right, right behind the corner here. But right by the by the corner of the seat. There's like a spray guard. There we go. Thank you. You're welcome. But uh they uh, tried to get into the tire shop around the area, and they said that everybody said they're all booked up. Um, so nobody can uh, get to them today. So we're going to change them for them. Get them nice and soaked down. Sensors in these wheels. There we go, clear the sensor off just fine. There you go, that's one side. Take the weight off since I can see it right there. There we go. Probably go with sticky weights on this. I have to the sticky weights. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Let me, uh, normally I take that off first, but I don't know why I didn't today. <laughs>
All right. Sensor on your on your car before? Well, I have. Yeah. Oh. I've never seen the I have no way to test them to see if they're good or no, not. They're, they're still good. They're still good. Yeah. They, I, they make a little box machine thing yeah. that you can put up to them to test them, and they uh, that little box also programs them too, yeah. or something like that. I, I've seen it used. I don't. I just don't have one. throw this in the floorboard of my truck. That way we don't have garbage flying around out here. That's an inside. Awesome. They're directionals.
Sometimes with these 19s, uh, I did a low profile 19 a while back, yeah. and, but it was kind of cold out. We had to shoot it three times. I did a 20 yesterday. We had to shoot it three times before it would finally take. Well, it's pretty warm out today. Yeah, it, it was kind of, it was in the afternoon, like almost like 4.35ish when I tried to do that tire yesterday. Yeah, so it was already cooling down. It was like in the low 30s, maybe even like 20, you know, high 20s. We started on the hub assembly yesterday at what seven thirty in the morning. They didn't stop until about seven o'clock at night. So. Oh, I got you. Because of how bad it was stuck on there. I see. Then they started to get it. Eight o'clock this morning. Finally got done at about ten thirty. All right, let's try this. Squeeze it. Get squeezed. That's two, I think. Three. Yeah, the bottom two up. 
Sure sounds like it anyways. Felt like it. Yeah, bottom tuck. Yeah, it took here too. Nice. There it oh, went. There it goes. Don't look at the bead, you ain't got glasses on. Yep, look away. There you go. There, I got that. You can top on down. <laughs> if you want, there's a pair of safety glasses right here behind my driver's side seat. You might have some. Yeah. Look in the top. Top, yeah. There's my Yeah, with the old ones, what we're going to do is we're going to cut them in half. And we're going to make like a flower. That one, that one over there, I'd say was a spare. That thing looks almost new. I know. Oh, yeah. There's the other one. There went the top. Let's make sure that's the bottom. I think that the bottom one is the one that went off first. Yeah, it's completely sealed on the bottom. All right, let's see what the air pressure is in this. 51, what would you like it at? Uh, ask him. Probably about 40? 40, 41. 44? Well, it says on the tires. No, it says 51 on the tires. That's max, though. So you can go between what your door says and what the max of the tire is. Probably do 45. 45? 45, I guess. I mean, if you're not, you know, hauling anything like, you know, a trailer or nothing, you don't need to go all the way up to the max. Yeah, no, we're not. Yeah, no, it's in, they're in that little box back there. They have it's like a green and black little bitty eyeglass box. Sitting on the ledge. Put the little lever at the bottom. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> See, that was a lot easier today than it was. That's what I told those folks yesterday with that 20. I said, I wish you'd got a hold of me earlier yesterday to do this, you know. And they were like, well, we didn't get, we didn't have it anyway. We tried everybody around the area. Yeah. Nobody said they could do a 20 or even take it in. Right. And I was like, well, what about Walmart? He said, uh, Walmart said that they were completely booked up and that they don't go and really do 20s all that often. Yeah. I've had a lot of like, you know, uh, 18s and 19s, and now 20s starting to come my direction lately. We had to have these shipped to us by Walmart.com. Did you? Yeah, because they didn't have any in stock. I gotcha. But $150 later, his mom was like, oh, they're going to be $1,500 just to get you. I said, no, they're not. 150 a piece? She was, she was looking at Michelin and Firestone, and I'm like, no. What are these? These are oh, Atlas. 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 They're pretty decent tires. I've had them on my vehicles in the past. And every time I put them on my vehicle in the past, they've lasted me at least three years. Gotcha. Three or four years. I don't know. I don't know this company, so. Atlas, I of course, I'm sure I've probably seen the tire before. I've probably mounted one or two of them before and just never noticed it, you know? Right. I don't really look at, you know, what brand tires are that people bring me. Right. And see, the ones that, this is... Uh, these are Michelin. These are Michelin. All four of them are Michelin. They came with the car on the front. Yeah. Oh, did they? Yes, they did. Usually car lots go with, like, you know, expensive tires, like Continentals and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. Oh, Michelin's out there. Even the Michelin, uh, she was like, they're like seven. There's that car a used car dealership over there in Baraboo. They uh, they put Ferrellis on all their cars so that way they can jack up the price. Well, that's yeah. where I got that from. It was uh, uh, Oliver Motors. Motors when they were in Baraboo. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 that place is no longer there. Yeah, they moved no. back to Sun Prairie. Yeah. yeah. So I got this thing. Yeah, she was like, wait a second, you found tires cheaper? I'm like, yeah. All right. It's 
not hard to shop around. For like 500 bucks for all four black. Can you unhook my air compressor up front? Yeah, 550.
can put the air compressor back in. Huh? We should have taken the tape off that one, but that's okay. The tape is off the inside of it. It's oh, just the on the outside? Yeah, it's just, I left okay. it on the outside. Oh. I figured that gives you guys something to do while I'm balancing and all that stuff, you know? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's make sure we keep the tires kind of warm. Thank you. Do you have the cap? Let's see here. Well, we're only at 28 minutes. Do you have the caps? You didn't give me a cap. That one didn't have a cap on it. Okay, we'll buy new ones. I, I got some. Oh, do you? Yeah, just give me a minute and uh, when I uh, just remind me before you guys leave there, I have them in my center console. Cool. Okay. I just didn't realize that one didn't have a cap. Yeah. You know, if you look around in my bed, you might actually find one laying here, too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> that happens a lot. I'll, I'll, I throw them or I'll set them up somewhere and they get knocked off or something. And then I gotta give another one, you know, and I gotta get out a new one. and things yeah. like that, yeah. Different packages on each vehicle and stuff. This is what you're seeing there in your book. Alright, it's going to be ready. scared me. <laughs> scared you too, huh? <laughs> when you're standing here, you can feel the vibration off of it. Yeah. You might jumped off the back of the truck. <laughs> yeah. I was looking over there, and just as I looked back down at it, it popped, you know? Yep. <laughs> There's the other one. Yes.
I get my tools in, I ordered some tools off of Amazon. Uh, we're, I'm going to be doing a complete rebuild on the front end of this truck. There you go. Well, in December, we have replaced the upper and lower, lower ball joint over here. Yeah. But I still need to replace the ball joint in the, uh, you know, the uh, turn linkage. Um, and then this whole side over here is getting completely redone. Yeah. Uh, it's got new wheel bearings and stuff like that in it, but I guess one of the wheel, the wheel bearing on the driver's side decided to go bad. Why did you get a complete bump set? I did. That's that's what I put in it, but it, it's uh you know what we can afford and uh they're kinda cheaper on the cheaper side and they're not that great is what the uh uh O'Reilly's guy said. You got from, uh, Rock Auto. Oh I gotcha. Yeah, Rock Auto, it was a hundred bucks for both of them. Nice. It was so much cheaper. Yeah, ours is only like 80 a piece for this truck. They're not that bad, actually. No, not And that's no. through O'Reilly, so. Right. But see, ours was, it was a closeout sale. Ours were $38 a piece. Oh, that's why they were a little bit cheaper. Yeah. Yeah. Sadder, we could have gone with like the $57 a piece ones. Yeah. Rock Auto, it, I've never really had an issue with Rock Auto, but I mean, yeah, you pay for shipping, but even that's with shipping. It was like 98 bucks with the parts and shipping. Gotcha. That was terrible. Oh. Ah, I forgot to put the uh, valve stem back in it. Valve stem core anyways. right here and uh, do a separate mounting video or a balancing video yeah all right DS vault we'll catch you in the next one